Right then, welcome back to the Magby Channel TV, people. Just a quick video after a day's match. There's been loads of content for you today on the Magby Channel. We've had the live watch along, the live match reaction. And I didn't touch on, on this in the match reaction because I thought I'd make it a separate video because I wanted to see the footage back because it is available online as well. But I'll play it on the screen now for you lot. Where a Leeds United fan managed to get this close and get his hands on Eddie Howe. Absolutely disgraceful this. Appalling man. What is going on? How is he allowed to do this? How is he allowed to get this close to Eddie Howe? And we are very lucky that this issue is not a lot worse. This could have been an absolute catastrophe. It really could have. I mean, if this bloke is carrying a weapon, it's so dangerous. He could have had a knife. He could have done anything. He could have caused serious harm to Eddie Howe and anyone, any of the players, any of the coaching staff, anyone. How is he able to get on that pitch? Is there zero security down the road? Like, I mean, I could see loads of stewards protecting the away end at the end. How about you protect your own end from getting on the bastard pitch? How is that? I kind of get my head around how he is allowed to get that close, actually allowed to get his hands. Now, obviously, he's pushed him, slightly pushed him. Uh, let's not uh, dramatise it too much. It's not like he's pushed any how and he's went flying over. He could have, though. That's the point of the video. And the point of the incident is that it could have been a hell of a lot worse. And it's a joke that he's been allowed to get that close. Because he's allowed to get his hands on Eddie Howe. Give him a slight push. I don't know what he said, Eddie Howe. I haven't seen Eddie Howe's post-match reaction there. His press conference, his interview. Because I've been doing my own videos. Let me know in the comments if Eddie Howe has reacted. And was questioned on it. Surely he was. I want to I know what the bloke said to Howe. Because he did have a word with him. You can see in the video, the guy says something to Eddie Howe. And then he pushes him slightly in the chest. And then finally, it actually, it actually takes Newcastle's coaching staff to come over and stop this bloke. From causing any more harm. The coaching staff have to come over, push them away, and then finally someone does the job. Finally, someone in a steward outfit does their job. It's absolutely ridiculous, man. I mean, he comes over to how, like I said, I'd be interested to know what he said, why he's doing it, what's his motive. It's a 12 30 kickoff on a Saturday. Has he really had that much to drink already? Has he been out since Friday night or something? How is he how is he that railed up? How is he, the, his team are drawn? It's not even like getting battered and they've been sent down to the championship. Not that that would be an excuse, anyways. But how has he got himself in this position where he thinks this is an acceptable thing to do? And it's not a young lad who's, you know, having his first match day and he's, he's had too much of the stuff and he's had too much drink. This bloke looks like a good age. Like, he looks like he's in his, his, his 30s, to be honest with you. He's not got a family or something. He's not got better things to do on a Saturday afternoon than push Newcastle United's manager, then attack Eddie Howe, then confront Eddie Howe. Come on, man. I mean, the thing is for me, it's just how it portrays things. Like everyone's seen that on BT. They actually even showed the replays. Um, and they're saying, you know, how is he being allowed to get on the pitch? It's absolutely bonkers, man, because it's it's shown that, it's not shown that it's acceptable, it's shown that it can be done. Is that not going to encourage someone else to do something this weekend? Do something else crazy next week? If you can get that, if it's that easy to get that close, man, we're lucky that the bloke wasn't actually dangerous or clever enough. Because like I say, if he had a knife, he could stab him. He could literally stab him. He could attack him. He could Even if it was a bigger bloke or if he had a good punch behind him, he could punch how he could knock out Eddie Howe, he could flatten him out. There could have been a serious injury there. Thankfully, there wasn't. But that, they need to look at that, man. How in this day and age, Premier League, such a big company, such a big organisation, you know, the money that crowns make and everyone, the whole sport, how is there a fan allowed to get that close? He might be able to jump over a couple of seats, get on the pitch, bang, someone's got to wipe him out, stop him. For someone to get that close and actually hands-on, physical, with a Premier League manager is a joke. It's an absolute shambles. And like I said, it could have been so, so much worse. It's scary to think what could have happened, really. It's scary what to think what could have happened to a lot of people. You know, he could have got on the pitch. He could have not just heard how, heard someone else. He could have got on onto the players. He could have done a lot of things. He really could have. It's scary to think what type of attack could have happened there, but... Yeah, we obviously have to talk about it. I think it's a big incident and it needs attention and it needs it needs people to look at these videos and see it and for it to do well on social media and for the BT should, should be talking about it the Pundry team afterwards because it needs to be, you know, attention brought to it so it can be stopped. People need to have eyes on it so they can then do something against it so they can stop this happening again. That shouldn't be happening this day and age. No way. So it definitely shouldn't happen in the future. So I, there's just my quick thoughts on it. That was the incident. You've seen it yourselves on the screen. Let us know what you think. It's a disgrace for me, but I'm just glad that nobody actually really got hurt. Um, but it's worrying for how and for everyone else because you'd be kind of concerned if you think it's that easy for someone to get onto the pitch. Um, 
I mean, Eddie Howe, when the incident happens, you can see, like, he just looks and he's like, he's bewildered. He's, I think he's in complete shock that it's a strange bloke on the sidelines pushing him. I think he's thinking, oh, it's just one of his assistants, or maybe it's the fourth official. <laughs> and it's it's a random stranger, like, having a go in, in his face. And he's, he's probably thinking, is this really happening? I'm watching a Premier League game live. My team's battling top four, leads are battling relegation. It's live on TV, and there's some random bloke in my face trying to push us. Crazy, man. What a wild incident that was in a wild game, to be fair. The game had all the drama on the pitch as well, with the penalties, the VARs, the sending off. And then you had that off the pitch. Mental, man. Absolutely mental. But I uh, that'll do for this one. I'd just finish off by saying it's a joke, it's a disgrace, shouldn't be allowed on there. That's got to be looked at. Someone's got to be sacked. I'm sorry, like, but you do, you kind of be in that position of a job if you can't keep things. You, literally, it's in your word. Security. Secure. Keep them safe. Keep them secure. You can't do it. So see you later. How has no one stopped them, man? Shambles, that like. For Premier League, yeah, you might expect that at a non-league game. You wouldn't even expect that in League 1, League 2, man. They don't mean Premier League lunchtime kickoff shown around the world. Disgrace. Absolute mess. Something needs to be done. There needs to be investigated in that. I hope, I hope the absolute divvy that did it gets a lifetime ban. I hope he never get into a football ground again. Joke. Shit house of a human being. I hope you never see a game again. Serious ban. Deduction for Leeds. Deduct them points. Send them down. <laughs> I'm just joking, Leeds fans. Just joking. Kind of. Now, that has to be punishment for the people involved there. Like, obviously, the the perpetrator, you know, the bloke that's run on the pitch, and then the security, the staff have got to get seriously looked at, man. Seriously looked at, because that's a major issue, that. Major, major issue how that's been allowed to happen. Not good enough. But I let me know in the comments what you think of that incident. Um... Mad one. Hopefully we'll see nothing like that again. And hopefully uh, things are all right going forward. I hope Howe isn't too you know, bothered by it where he's thinking, bloody hell. Because, you know, you may in the future be thinking, oh, I hope anyone runs on the pitch, yeah, like. So I'm sure he'll be out right, though. And, um, yeah, hopefully it gets looked into properly and the people get dealt with it accordingly. Who should get dealt with it? Because it shouldn't be allowed to happen. It shouldn't be anywhere near allowed to happen in this day and age, that man. People running on pitches and that. I mean, you see things like celebrations at the end of the season where people you have pitch invaders and you have but that's all in good spirits but even then that's a bit dodgy because the wrong person come on the pitch with something but that's a different story this is 2-2 with a few minutes to go in a an opposition fan runs up with the opposition manager and he's threatening him shouting his face and like i say it just could have been a lot nastier a lot worse thankfully no one really got harmed but uh going forward a lot more has to be done to stop these sort of things from happening, which is uh, not acceptable. Not acceptable, but that'll do. Cheers for watching, everyone. Like I say, drop your comments below. Let us know what you think. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.